Hey there, so today I want to cover something that I found to be quite intriguing. In fact, while I was watching it play out, I was really hoping that someone was having a laugh behind it all. And maybe they were. Maybe they were indeed. I'll show you a few things in a moment that kind of point to it maybe or maybe not. It just depends on how you look at things. Now, when you look at all of this stuff, too, essentially what we're going to see is someone decide within current year that they're going to cover those things evil people out there, quote-unquote, monetizing hate. They're going to say that they have integrity in the process. They're going to talk about the problems out there. Then they're going to encourage someone to pay them, I guess so they can be part of the machine that is monetizing, quote-unquote, hate. I guess that's the way that it works. You know, if you give me mine, well, I'm willing to look the other way. Integrity, indeed. Isn't that beautiful? And when you say, hey, maybe this is indeed a joke, again, maybe it is. But how do you tell the puritanical, the people that would burn you out for wrong thing versus, say, the people trying to have a go? The parody account. You know, when I can't tell parody from puritanical, there's a problem. I want to show you a headline from current year two before we really get into this to truly illustrate that. This is not from this account, not tied into this experience, but it goes to what I'm saying. How do you tell a joke anymore from the real thing? This, it's a real headline. Someone believes this. Ask your baby's permission before changing diaper, says sexual consent expert. Yeah, you should watch this too because this person not only believes this stuff but they go out and they endorse a way that your baby can tell you about that and all those things because yeah people are crazy so again when you want to write something off as a joke just remember there are people out there that truly truly buy into this current year nonsense now when you look at this account too this account has wanted to make itself look like it's a joke I mean, it's gone out and scrubbed what you see here, this image, and made itself look like this now. It's gone in and taken a stock picture. It's still talking like it was before, but it's tried to take that stock picture and make itself look like it could indeed be a joke. And like I said, maybe it is. But then again, I mean, when you're looking at that, it had also set itself up to take donations. It wanted you to, hey, buy me a coffee. I'm out here. You can buy me one. And it had set itself up a website as well. Now, that website, well, unfortunately, it's expired. So, you know, that little freebie there, man, in that article we wanted to talk about at least briefly, that article, it's gone the way of the dodo bird. Except, well, one dodo bird was smart enough not to follow the other lemmings off the cliff. It got caught up in the archive machine. Isn't that lovely? So anyway, this account here, this girl roars, it has been talking about quite a few things in the last few days. It has talked about integrity. It has talked about all of the political noise that you expect from the kind of account I'm talking about. And of course, while it's doing that, it decided to make contact with the other uh, right thinkers out there. What's funny about this is if it truly is a gaff account, then the people out there that think these kinds of things, they can't tell it from the real thing. That's the thing that I find most intriguing. So this account, of course, it decides to go out and it decides to write an article. It decides to write about how hate became a commodity. From gamers to Brexiteers, the engineered a culture war that radicalized a generation of young men by this girl roars. So you can see that here. Now there's a lot of stuff that's added into this from uh, the 4chan community, you know, to uh, to looking at uh, Elliot Roger being discussed here and how he's somehow become a hero. Then they talk about Brexit. Basically, they're trying to hit all cylinders. And of course, you know, you're going to tie into Jordan Peterson. Can you imagine a mind out there? Again, even if you're talking about a joke, you're still modeling that off of something real. And there are minds out there that want to tie 
all of this stuff, like Elliot Rogers to Jordan Peterson, and keep going on. Then you see, of course, Paul Joseph Watson. And as you move forward, well, we get into the YouTube channels. I have watched YouTube channels go from obscurity to close to 100K subscribers within months after making that targeted progressivism. Two examples are Ethan Van Schuyler, you know, because hey, there you go, comic artist uh, Pro Secrets, and Jeremy Griggs. Uh, Geeks and Gamers. Geeks and Gamers started in 2017 with around 6,000 subs, but after consistently attacking Kathleen Kennedy, along with uh, the Star Wars characters played by Daisy Ridley and Asian actress Kelly uh, Marie Tran, who was hounded off Instagram by racists, he has risen to 100k subscribers. Both Ethan Van Schuyler, again, and Jeremy Griggs are uh, fluent in terminology that originated from here. You can see sluthate.com, which I've never looked at, which uh, they use to great effect when articulating their war cries against quote-unquote social justice warriors and feminists. So you can see them going in, tying that in, and of course they want to keep going with the Ethan Van Schuyler. And again, that may be an account gaffe making fun of how people can't actually spell in this day and age. Or of course, that could be on purpose. Because this person has been saying, hey, Ethan Van Skyver, look at me, look at me, look at me. So, you know, you can see some of the things that they talk about within that. You know, the Ethan Van Skyler, who recently referred to LGBT Star Wars relationships as degenerate and drew the cartoons for Professor Peterson's book, 12 Rules for uh, Life. When I ask uh, Van Schuyler how he and Peterson knew uh, were introduced to one another, he declined to comment. So you can see exactly how this is set up. It sounds just like a real article would. It's even tagged in to the Donald Trump Brexit far-right YouTube radicalization tags that you see here. You can see them talking about bots, Trump, Brexit, Red pills. I mean, everything you would expect to see this kind of mindset. Again, how do you tell the reality from the fantasy? So if we go and look at some of the comments about this afterwards, well, I think it gets even more intriguing. You know, you can see this too. I want to showcase how the shots were actually captured here. You can see them clipped, but also just to say here, them archived as well. You can see this archive list, but you look at this context. I mean, look at this as a whole. Don't worry. When I set up PayPay, I mean, there are so many typos within this. Again, maybe it's making fun of garbage tier journalism, or maybe this is actually garbage tier journalism, you know, showcased here, just like that integrity. Maybe, maybe, who knows? Maybe this is actually the nickname for someone's pay pig. I'm not really sure. But when I set up PayPay, I will uh, give Ethan Van Skyver the opportunity to make reparations by donating to my bigotry box. Now, if that, again, sounds like a joke to you, there were people that actually have done this. They have done this on several occasions. And you know what? People have actually donated to it. They have kowtowed because they're in the right thing crowd. They think that they have to in order to. They have to apologize for the sins of... And sometimes the sins of, they don't even belong to them. Sometimes, again, it's just because of the way you look or the way you were born or on. You know, if you had the different type of equipment, well, of course, you need to make reparation. If you have a different color skin, you have to make reparation. If you have the wrong mindset and you want to be part of the in crowd, you have to make reparation. You know, you see this stuff again and again. But continue. If he shows uh, willing, then perhaps I will write about him more favorably in the future. Now, you know, if you think about journalism and the way that this is carried forward all the time, that's exactly how things work. This has actually been detailed before, not only behind the scenes, but you've seen this play out. You've seen people do this dance. Normally, they don't do this dance like a hammer to the nail, but yeah, they do this dance anyway. If you want to go in and sponsor me, well, yeah, I'll do the dance that you like. So, to clarify, 
by. They continue. Ethan making a form of reparation payment would show his willingness to change and apologize for past problematic comments. Recognizing that, any subsequent articles that show him in positive light would not be disingenuous. Hmm, isn't that lovely? So really, I mean, like I say, independent and uncompromising journalism that of course takes pay pay and will uh, write something in a favorable light that again, it's not disingenuous because you paid for it. Now you, you can look at that. And again, like I say, you can look at the R of the uh, the account, how it's set up now, and you could say, yeah, that thing, it has to be fake. But again, maybe it wants you to think that. Maybe that's exactly the thing that this is geared toward. Not only that, but again, go out and do a Google search. You can find some stuff about this account before it decided that it would go and brand itself a different way. And well, you know, that's the beautiful thing about snapshots. Sometimes before when you change over, yeah, things don't catch up. Maybe it'll be like that for a little while still, so you might want to check that soon. Like I said, too, website expired and on, but then again, you know, hey, out there in the land of ramen, some people that just aren't eating, right? And you have to ask, again, if you're going to go out and you're going to set up a joke, well, are you going to set up something where you can take donations, where people can buy you a cup of coffee just to sell this? It went a little far with that, don't you think? But then again, maybe the best jokes do. I don't know. You tell me. And in current year, what does it matter about that? Because principles, you know, when you think about the whole principle underlining all of this and the principles at play, this is a reflection of certain type of people out there. And they're just too damn blind to see it. They can't see how ugly they've become in that mirror of self. You know, they can't see that when the joke is played, it's actually played at their expense. Not at the expense of the other people they're goofing off with. No, it's played at the expense of the people this looks just like and sounds just like. I mean, think about that. I hope that they can think about that too. But anyhow, tell me what you think. Now, if you like this kind of content, please consider supporting the channel. You can do that in a few ways. You can like you can sub, hit that bell, do whatever you like afterwards, dance a jig, but make sure you make comments too. I always like people's comments there. I encourage that. I like the interaction. I may not get to talk to you about it, but yeah, I want to definitely see what you think on something. I have new content daily, sometimes multiple times a day. You know, I try to keep it at one, but you never know. Make sure that you check that out. And above anything, I appreciate you being here. So thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. And man, look at this crazy stuff. Isn't this world interesting? Welcome to current year. Almost 2020. Thanks.